How you doing guys? Glad you could join me today. I'm going to be cooking up a turkey ahead in the freezer and I better get to it. Right guys, there it is. Turkey with stuffing and potatoes and and other things. Right guys, it's pitch black out here. Stormy, windy, cold. It's been about four and a half hours. Let's dig it up and see what it looks like. Good. Looks really good. You guys zoom in on that. All right, guys. Since it's too cold out here to uh, eat it and everything and <clears throat> enjoy it, I'm going to take it up to the house. All right, guys. Check that out. Mmm, it's really hot. Check out this press. Just, it's totally done, dude. Sweet. Potatoes are all done. See that? All right, let's chow down. See that? Hey, puppy. What a dish. Mm. Okay, man. I'm going to chow down this whole plate and uh, then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> In the minute they first arrived here, the odds were stacked against them. As you can see, it's a pretty wild and woolly coastline. It's also one of the most isolated areas in the Australian mainland. All right, guys, I'm laying here in the box, and I got the furnace turned down to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I can save a ton of money by sleeping in the box like this and turning down the furnace. Otherwise, I'd have to keep it at about, like, 55, and I'd be cold just sleeping in a bed out in the open. But this way, I can, the furnace only goes on like maybe once early in the morning. I can save a ton of money. So I can sit in here, I got the TV propped up, where I can uh, view it through the door here, the sliding door I made, and watch TV for a while. And then when I get too tired, I, uh, when I'm ready to um, fall asleep, I uh, close the door. I just, you know, have the door. I still leave it open about a crack, about two inches or something, inch, two inches. I got holes drilled on the sides. So I got plenty of air circulation in here. Yeah. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Did I say that? Did I say that? Did I say the right thing? Okay guys, before I leave, I want to show you this. 
Okay, I bought this from a guy at a flea market about 25 years ago. And there was a guy there showing it, and I uh, gave him about 20 bucks for it. Let me show you what it does here. So first off, it's got this... Uh, Got this axe, and it's got a knife. And the, what's cool about unique about this, what I never seen anything like this have. You can change the knife into. an axe. It's got that button and a spring and like a, a slot with a notch in it. Right there you see that little knot? Not, it holds it in place. So yeah, and the steel sort of a, uh, it's like a tempered it's like a real hard tempered or something, kind of stainless, well, I don't know if this is stainless steel. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's almost like a Swedish steel. It might even be foreign made. I'm thinking it might even like be made in Finland or Sweden or Norway and someone brought it to America with them. And what I think they use this for is something like this. They would use it for is something like it's like a trapper's kind of gizmo gadget kind of thing. They would use the knife blade for skinning the hide off a fur-bearing animal in those days. And then you would use the uh, <clears throat> hatchet for chopping off the feet. And it's really old. I'm guessing this is about 100 years old. You see the sheath is really, looks old, it's pretty war. The leather on there is like deteriorating. You can put this you can hang this from your belt, you know. It's got that belt loop. Yeah, I, I never seen anything like this. It kind of goes and you put it back in. Where you put the axe in first, hatchet, whatever like that. Snap that down. Put the knife in like that. Come on. And yeah, I couldn't find any uh, numbers or letters on it anywhere. Not on the metal, not on the sheath. No uh, reference about origin, so I'm thinking maybe it was made like in a shop, handmade in a shop somewhere. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late. <laughs> All right.